Today I'll show you how to turn any best-selling design into a clean, upload-ready POD graphic using the new NanoBanana Pro. Alright, so let's first start with the interface. So here we are, this is actually Gemini from Google. And yeah, so if you're familiar with ChatGPT, this is quite similar. So we got the prompt box right here in the middle. We can click on this plus to add some files. Then we can click on tools right here. Now to use the new NanoBanana Pro image model, you have to click this button right here that says create images. And of course it's got this banana icon. So let's click that. And now Gemini knows that we want to generate images with the Nano Banana Pro model. But first we have to get some designs. And the easiest way to get some designs is Flying Research. So here we are in Flying Research. Let's click on the bestsellers tab and let's choose some designs that we can model. Yeah, let's take this one right here, this gaming center. So we're just gonna download this image. Now let's choose some more. And let's choose this hockey design that says eat, sleep, hockey, repeat. Let's download this one and let's choose the third one. Yeah, let's pick this cat right here. All right, so we got three designs that we can model. Now let's generate some designs. All right, so we are in Gemini again. Make sure you clicked on image right here on this button and let's upload the first design. Just click on that plus right here and on this paper clip. So here we go, we got the gaming center. Now I'm just gonna use the prompt Make this an axolotl and generate it on a dark gray background. So we use the dark gray background because it makes it really easy to remove the background later. But don't worry, we come to that. And then we also want to remove the cable from the controller. And then we just press enter. And here we go, it's generating, it's loading Nano Banana Pro. And you can see the thinking process right here. Let's click on this arrow. Yeah, this is quite nice. Oh, and it's done. Let's close this right here. Yeah, here we go. Nice, look at that. So now we already went from this gaming center to this gaming axolotl, wearing the Christmas hat and wearing the Christmas gloves while playing video games. Now I also removed the cable from the controller because that just looks way cleaner in my opinion. So we already got a great design at the first try. And we got it on a dark gray background just like we wanted. And you can see that there's a black outline around the graphic. So this makes it really easy to remove the background later. Now we're just gonna download this image on this button. It even says download full size, so let's click that. And it takes a bit to download. And here we go, we got the graphic. Now it's quite big already. Let's check the design properties. Yeah, it's already about five megabytes and about 1800 by 2400 pixel. Yeah, we can work with that, but let's first generate the other images. So of course we can stay in the same chat. Let's just upload the next design. So it's a bit small, but it's the hockey design. It says eat, sleep, hockey, repeat. And again, just like before, we can use natural language to edit this design. So I just wrote instead of hockey, this design should be for basketball. Generate it on a dark gray background. And let's just press enter. And here we go, it's loading Nano Banana Pro. It doesn't even use the old model anymore. And here we go, it's done. Yeah, nice. It's a very simple design, of course, but these types of designs work great in POD. So we went from this design to this design right here. Now it could be a bit harder to remove the background because of this grunge effect. So let's just type in remove the grunge effect. Press enter and see what we get. Yep, here we go. Perfect. So if you want to use this design, we just click download again and let's generate the last design. So the last design is this cat that's wearing the sunglasses and the phrase says, I do what I want. Yeah, so we don't want a cat, we want a dachshund instead. So for generating this design, I used a simple prompt. Instead of a cat, it should be a dachshund. Generate it on a dark gray background. Remove the grunge effect. And let's hit enter. And here we go. Yeah. So now we got a really simple and clean output. Now let's download this again. And now we have to start editing these designs. So let's first remove the backgrounds. So to remove backgrounds for free, you can just use pixel cut. And it's basically very simple to use. You just drag and drop the images right here. Let it load for a second and boom, here we go. Now for pixel cut, it's really easy to remove the backgrounds because we generated the designs on a dark gray background. So that's the important step right here. Now you can check if the background was properly removed with these colors right here. And yeah, you can see that the background was basically perfectly removed. You can use the color wheel right here. Yeah, it's basically perfect. And as you can see, this design works great on a bright color, just like white, or it even works great on a black color. So it works great on black t-shirts, but also on white mugs. 
Now it's very important to set it again on this checkerboard. Now you can see the star right here on the down right corner. We don't really want that. So we click on refine and then you have this brush and we just gonna click and drag over it and it's gone. Click on done and boom, you got your graphic. And in the upper right corner, you got this download button. Just click download. And just like that, you got your graphic without the background. So let's quickly do that for the other designs. So we just drag and drop the next image right here and the last image. So now that we got the backgrounds removed, we have to upscale the files. My favorite option for doing that is Topaz Gigapixel, but this is a paid option. So if you don't want to spend money, you can use the Upscale app, which is free to use. So here we go. This is the free Upscale app. So to use it, you just drag and drop the image right here on this field. And that's what we're going to do. So here we go. We got the axolotl. You select the image model digital art and then we have to set the image scale. Now it's set to six times, which is a bit too big, as you can see right here on this output resolution. Now let's scale this down. Yeah, let's set it to three times. So you basically want to upscale your images a bit larger than the Amazon Merge files, or I mean the Amazon Merge resolution, which is 4,500 by 5,400 pixel. So by setting the slider to three times, we get this resolution, which is a bit bigger than the Amazon Merge resolution. Two times would be too small. Yeah, we would be under the target resolution. So let's set it to three times and then we just click upscale. And here we go, it's upscaling. You don't even need any credits or something like that because it runs on your own machine. So here we go, it's processing the image and it's done. Yep, here we go, we got the upscaled image. Now we just upscale the other designs and then we bring them to the merge format. So we got the basketball design and the last design. We got the ducks hunt. Let's upscale this one. You can also do this in batches with this slider right here. Okay, so here we go. And now we want to bring them into the merge format. Now for this demo, I'm just going to use Affinity Designer, but you may also use Photoshop or Illustrator or the app of your choice. So we basically just create a new document and we set it to 4,500 by 5,400 pixel. Color format is RGB8 and the color profile sRGB. And then we check mark transparent background. And we basically get the merge format right here. I know we just have to drag and drop our upscaled images right in this artboard. So we start with this axolotl. So let's zoom out a bit. You can see since it's upscaled and we chose a resolution that's just a bit bigger than Amazon merge resolution, we have to make it a bit smaller, just like that. And in affinity, you will see this line, this green line in the middle. So you know it's centered, yeah, centered. Now you don't put your designs in the middle like this, like this, yeah. Now you can see the cross, but you want to put your designs anchored to the top right here, just like this. So that basically your designs are anchored to the top right here, leave a bit of space, and then you just scale your graphic so that there's a bit of space at the left and at the right, and you just don't worry about the space right here at the bottom. Now we just have to export this image. So we click on File, Export. You got the export on PNG. We got the Amazon resolution and we just gonna click export and here we go. We got the image. Now let's check the design properties. Now you can see right here in the file name that I named this design in a very specific way. Right now for this example, I named it AI underscore 0200. And when you organize your designs in a spreadsheet, for example, which you really should, you can put this design ID in a spreadsheet together with the phrase and the niche. And then you will never get confused or lose your designs for some reason. The file size is about 8 megabytes, which is already great for Amazon Merge. We have to stay under 25 megabytes, but yeah, 8 megabytes is basically perfect. Then we got the correct resolution, we got 300 pixel, and we got the correct color format. Now, if your resolution only says 72 pixel per inch, for example, don't worry about that. It really just comes down to this resolution. So if it says 4,500 by 5,400 pixel, you're perfectly safe. Now let me bring the other designs to the merge format and then I will show you a nice party trick. Now real quick for this design, don't put it in the middle like that, but put it on the top like this. Yeah, you can even see that it's centered right now because Nano Banana actually generated it like that, as you can see on this blue frame. Maybe let's make this a bit bigger. Yeah, just like that. So if your files would be over 25 megabytes, you would have to compress these files without losing quality. And you can achieve this with this nice little app that's called Cesium. Now you basically just do the settings like this on compression, choose PNG, 
and I like to set the optimization level to 3 and do these two check marks right here and the mode should be on quality. Now let's drag and drop our images right here. Yeah, here we go. You can see the file names. You can see the size of these files. Now they're really small already, so I wouldn't do this with these files. This is just for demonstration. And you got the Amazon Merge Resolution. So all you have to do is just click Compress right here. And it's compressing. And just like the Upscale app, it's working on your machine. And boom, it's finished. It says Compression finished. Now it still managed to save about 12% for these files, which were already small. So just click OK and here we go. Now you just write your listings for these designs and you're ready to upload. If you want to know a simple but effective way to write your listings, then check out this video right here.